about Matterport and, and how much information do you want? Because I can tell you the way it's put together so that it, it makes sense as you're walking through it. You can see every little circle that's on the floor is where they place the camera. The camera yeah. has several lenses that shoot down, straight in front, and then up at the ceiling so that you can move your arrows up and down or move your screen up and down and see the ceiling to the floor in every shot. So it's actually quite an amazing process that the photographer has to go through. In a house like this one, the Matterport process of doing the photography on it is going to take a little over an hour because every single little circle in the imagery, they place the camera, then they have to move out of line of sight of the camera, completely out of the room, around the corner, remotely click the camera, and the camera does a 360 shoot, and it then collects the data that the images from what that one camera shot did. And you can see in this home, there's probably 40 or 50 different little circles. And then they get back to the computer, and the computer stitches all of them together into this 3D masterpiece that allows you to virtually walk through the home with real imagery. Um, a lot of buyers really appreciate this because you can begin to see the way the rooms flow together. Instead of seeing a static image of one room and you're not really sure how it relates to the other rooms or that shot that someone took of the kitchen cut off the relationship between the kitchen and the great room. But with Matterport, you get a great idea of the relationship between the rooms. Um, you get a sense for the way the flow works and you can zoom in and look really close on the detailed features. If you all of a sudden can't remember what the appliances were that were in the home, Go back to Matterport and zoom right in on that Viking professional label on the top left corner of the refrigerator, and you know what the appliance was that was there. Um, it's very much like being in the home. Okay, so from the front door, um, what you'll first probably notice is that there's this circular space that you're standing in. You, you may not be able to see it, um, but there's a round tile border between the entryway and the great room and the rest of the home. And that is a round rotunda entrance, and the front door is actually curved on this house. It creates a very unique feel when you walk in. You're walking into um, a very lovely grand entrance with curved walls. And then just past the curved walls, if you go just a little bit, step step into the great room and turn just a little bit to the right, you'll see the very nice large view windows. Unfortunately, this Matterport was shot on a bright and sunny day, so it's difficult to see the view outside because of the light differences between the inside and the outside. But if you come back and look at the static photography we also had done at the same time, you can see what that view is really like. It's glorious. From this backyard, you have unblocked views from Snow Canyon all the way past Pine Valley and over to um, Zion. If you were stepping out on the back patio, you, you'd be able to see all of that. In the great room, of course, you have the custom fireplace and the built-in entertainment center. All of it set on travertine floors, very classy. The home has a very high-quality but timeless quality fill all the way through it. There's not anything trendy. Everything's been done with a timeless quality to it. If you will move the screen just a little bit over to your left, you'll see the ample dining area. And uh, cookers love this kitchen. My husband is an amazing chef, and he likes the looks and the feel of this kitchen. He likes all of the counter space on that bar. Plenty of room to do whatever prep you want or serve things uh, in a very entertaining and artistic way. There is, of course, the upgraded appliances set nicely into the granite and the fine wood finishes in the home. And there's a the narrow door in the corner that opens up into a lovely walk-in pantry, just immediately to the right of the microwave and oven. Well, it is a second home for the owner, and so he visits infrequently right now, which is why he's selling it. He is not visiting as often as he used to. He's had a couple of changes in his personal life and his business that um, have caused him to just not frequent Southern Utah as much as he used to. Hmm. So it would be fairly easy for someone to occupy. Just a few personal belongings remain. You'll see that the if you look down towards the floor, you'll see those curved tile 
um, barriers in between the, the two spaces, again, there's that theme is repeated in a couple of places in the house. And this room, you'll notice it has its own door to the outside. There is a stunning large courtyard out front on this home. And two doors into the home from the courtyard. This is one and the front door is the other. So this home, this room, sorry, is an office. None of the furniture you see there is built in. So you could use this as an ideal place for a grand piano, um, a sitting room, an office. Even a formal dining room would be a nice placement for that if that's something that you wanted to have. The master, if you come out of the office, looking back towards the great room, and then veer a little bit to the right, you can see a hallway that goes down just past that front door. So just come down this hallway, and you'll see a couple of doors on your left. Those are storage, linen closets, coat closets, etc. And then to your right, there is a half bath for guests. And then straight ahead, you have another radius wall with the rock and nice place to, to feature a piece of art that you like. Just past that rock wall, if you turn left, you go into the master. If you turn right, you go down the hall to the laundry room and the garage. This master is amazing. It is so well thought out and so well laid out. It's a very large, oversized room that has built-in office space to the left, right by a nice, um, lovely gas fireplace with all the built-ins, and still room just for sitting and reading before you actually get into what is the traditional bedroom space. So just take a look around that room and get a, get a feel for the way all of those spaces play together. And this shot does a much better job of showing you what the view is like out of these large windows. Still a little pale compared to reality, but you have some very nicely designed desert landscape. And then you're at the edge of a hill after you finish that landscaping, so no one's ever going to be able to block your view there. Snow Canyon to Pine Valley. It's lovely. If you just keep going through the master bedroom into the master bath, so they've got the very large snail walk-in shower, uh, expansive countertops with the two sinks, of course, and look at the frame around that mirror. That's a large mirror. They, that creates a really nice feel when you walk into this room. It's already large, but it just feels a lot more spacious with the big mirror there. Big enough room that they put their exercise equipment in it as well. And into the master closet, it actually has two sections in the master closet. There's the one to the right and the one to the left. It's got a little bit more exercise equipment there. Lots of nice custom built-ins. Travertine floor continues into the closet as well. And you can see back out into the master bath. Three bedrooms and three bathrooms. If you're looking at the dollhouse view, you can see the circle entrance. And then to the right of the circle entrance, immediately to the right and a little bit behind is the office. And then there are two more bedrooms and another full bath back off to the right, kind of behind the kitchen and the office. So we call that a split floor plan where guests are on the opposite side of the house from owners. And if you're looking at the dollhouse plan and you look over at and hover above like you're looking down into those two spare bedrooms, you can get a fill for... Um, how large their closets are because the closets are actually the empty space that isn't photographed. If you just go back out to dollhouse so that you're looking at it straight on, looks like the sides of the house have been cut off. If you just slowly click and drag to the right or to the left, that dollhouse will spin so that you can see the home from all the different angles. So the square footage is 2817 square feet with an oversized three-car garage. In fact, that three-car garage is actually almost a 1,000 square feet in and of itself. It is three-bedroom, three-and-a-half baths, and an office, all single level. And in the master bedroom, there's really the space of a master bedroom and an office combined. It was built in 2007. I actually sold the current owner this lot back in 2006, and if I, if my memory serves correct, 
The lot alone sold for $450,000. And then he had it masterfully contracted by the builders out there in Sunbrook. So as an agent, I heard, I was listening to uh, the Dave Ramsey podcast. Yeah. Entre Leadership. Yep. And they had the VP of Ramsey Media on, and he made this comment. He said, um, you know, there's, there's, there's work that goes into finding the lead, you know, taking the lead through the buying process and then, you know, converting the lead. But he said, really, the work starts once you sign on the dotted line. And that's when the relationship starts. And it sounds to me like this buyer, like you created a relationship with this buyer when you um, first worked with him. Yes. So what, what, how, how do you do that? <laughs> what is, what do you do to build a relationship with the clients that you work with? Well, to me, it's actually very natural. I don't consider myself a salesperson. I consider myself involved in the service industry. I take care of people. I just happen to take care of people in real estate, with real estate. So um, I share information continually with this particular buyer. There's what is that now – Seven years between when I sold him the lot and he came back to me to have him had to have me help him sell his house. In that seven years, I've probably talked with them thirty times. Then to visit them when they came into town, three or four times. I stay in touch. I'm always providing them information on what's happening in real estate in Southern Utah with this particular client. Because I know how savvy he is in business, the information I provided him was about what's happening to the real estate industry here. With another client, the information I might provide them is the best way to get leaves out of their rain gutter um, and what time of the year you want to do that in southern Utah. It's whatever that client needs. If I pay attention and listen when they talk to me, and if they mention something like, we had a house fire one time, then I make sure that I'm pointing out to them how close the fire departments are and where to put a fire extinguisher in the house because I know they're going to be worried about that. So I'm answering those questions for them before they have to ask them, and they recognize that I'm listening and caring about them. Um, they also know that I study this market like a hawk, and so they come to rely on my understanding of the statistics and my reading of the market to help counsel them. I have clients who've worked with me on seven plus transactions over the years. They just keep coming back because they know I, they can trust and I'm never going to give them advice that benefits me. I'm only going to give them advice that benefits them. So I'm Shana Joe Larkin working at ERA Brokers Consolidated here in sunny St. George. You know, I've been blessed to be practicing real estate here in Southern Utah since 2001 and I absolutely love it. I'm passionate about this area and about helping people find the absolute best value for their real estate decisions and get the most money in their pocket when they're selling. I look forward to the chance to hear from you with any questions you have about this property or real estate in general. You can reach me best on my cell phone at 435-467-5050 or feel free to visit my website at St. George Dash Real Estate. That's St. George Hyphen Real Estate dot com. I look forward to hearing from you soon.